Hey everyone, it's August 28th and today the Surface Pro 3 launches in Australia. So I've rocked up at my local JB Hi-Fi uh, this morning to buy one of these uh, hopefully incredible machines and hopefully I don't get security called on me for making a video inside the shopping center. It pretty much pops up, so you can have a look here, it comes up like that. Yeah. Yep, and pal this is powered by the unit. You can either have it really flat if you like it, the flat keyboard, or small one. This is definitely a slick piece of hardware. I actually really quite like the pen responsiveness, despite the initial uh, doubts about everything. I'm just fooling around in Microsoft Fresh Paint now. Um, so it does appear as though the, the parallax tracking that they spoke of uh, in the in the launch has actually been improved. I mean, that's really the reason why I'm looking to buy one of these, especially the i3 version. I've already got my MacBook Air. I don't really need a, a secondary kind of laptop, though this will certainly do on a pinch. Um, but I really want to have something that I can really, uh, you know, practice my drawing in. And I guess you could say it's going to be a, an eight hundred dollar uh, sketch pad, but you know, uh, I really, really love the technology behind this machine. So let's get this show on the road. I did take home a Surface Pro three today. Uh, now, I wasn't able to get the equivalent of the 10% student discount that uh, Microsoft offers on their online store, uh, but we came reasonably close at JB, so I'm uh, quite happy, I guess. Uh, I got this case, uh, this sleeve, for $40. I got the type cover for $135, which is basically 10% off the, uh, the original $150 price. And the Surface Pro 3 itself, the i3, which normally retails for $978, I got it for $900, so um, pretty close to 10%. Uh, I'm not going to complain too much. I do know that in the United States, uh, you lucky chaps get the Surface Pro 3 i3 for something like $650. Uh, at Best Buy and those kind of things. So just let me say that uh, I really hate you for that. No, I shouldn't say that. But um, yeah, you you definitely get a better deal on the i3, I reckon, in uh, the United States. But anyway, um, or also anyone who is watching and who is in Sydney and is in uh, would be interested in purchasing a used 256 gigabyte Surface Pro 2, um, please hit me up in the comments. Uh, and I will uh, kind of make you an offer you can't refuse. No, I'm looking to probably sell that machine for about $850, uh, including the keyboard covers. That's the kind of general resale price that the Surface Pro 2 is going for now. And that's basically what's paying for this whole package. So, you know, uh, constant kind of cycle of uh, reselling lets you do neat things like buy these kind of products. Uh, anyway, let's get on to the unboxing. Uh, I suppose we'll start with the boring stuff first. This is the sleeve by Incipio. This is the Ord padded sleeve. That is the oddest name that I have ever heard for an accessory. Ord. I, you know, it reminds me of all ordinaries, I guess. Um, it is the matching dark blue color with the type cover, as you can see, and I chose the dark blue because I think it looks just as good in person as it does in the pictures. Um, I also got this sleeve predominantly because I want to see how much I can get away with using the Surface Pro 3 just as a tablet with no cover attached, just taking it around um, minimum weight and just to have a sleeve and also a slot for the pen as this little cardboard insert demonstrates. To have a slot for the pen would be really, oh my goodness, okay, it's actually this long. Um, okay. Yes, blah, 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 a bunch of stuff. So, yeah, this is where the Pro 3 will live. Uh, I'm assuming that this will also fit the Pro 3 with the keyboard attached as well, but I will hopefully um, won't need to use the keyboard too much again because I do have the MacBook Air now, my, uh, my value-priced MacBook Air for $500. Ooh, now, let me just get our wonderful crowdsourced uh, knife because I do believe that we will need this for the next bit. This is the tight cover um, and I believe we just need to slice along this part of the packaging. Oh no, I am an idiot because actually there is tape on this side that I was meant to cut. 
Uh, never mind. Okay, and then again, there's not much to it. I did play around with this in the store. I can tell you the trackpad feels so much better than it does on the uh, Pro 2, uh, the Pack Cover 2. And also, the keyboard is more rigid, I think, especially because of that new attachment point that goes along the, the band of it. But yeah, it is a fair bit more rigid. Again, the dark blue color, really nice look. I have to say, I love the color of this. Um, that was a really nice addition. I don't know why they never had that as an original color. I suppose it doesn't quite go as nicely with the black color scheme because the new Surface Pro 3 is um, just the standard uh, silver magnesium color. But yeah, no, going to be doing typing tests on this. I'll also be typing, sorry, I'll also be doing typing tests with the on-screen virtual keyboard because I've actually always really liked the virtual keyboard in Windows 8. Uh, because it's the only one that has cursor keys that you can go backwards and forwards on when you want to correct a mistake. And why they haven't implemented that in any other, you know, operating system boggles the mind because it's one of the best things ever. Now, I don't believe I actually need the knife for the um, Pro 3. And again, I did get the i3 version with 64 gigabytes of space. I'm not really concerned about the space. I won't be using this to do anything too arduous. Um, so we just peel off that here. And if I really do more, need more space, I can always use the micro SD card that is part of the Surface Pro 3. Now, sorry about the restrictive. Oh, okay. Do not open. Okay, for anyone who is unboxing this or opening this first time, do not open this box backwards, uh, upside down, because the tablet will just fall right out. Uh, that could have been a bit of a disaster. But um, okay, so Whew. Oh, that was good. Oh, and there's a battery. Okay, so this is just there. We go. All right. So here's the machine. Here's what I assume is the battery for the pen and the little instruction manual. Um, so let's just have a look here. Everything's sticky. Um, yeah, instructions, blah, 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 blah. Pretty standard stuff. For those of you who don't know, the digitizer has been changed from the Surface Pro 2. So it now uses Ntrig technology. Um, apparently this reduces parallax. Again, I did play around with it in the store. It does feel quite nice. So I'm looking forward to sketching with this. Um, this is, I believe, the power adapter. Yep, stock standard. Doesn't actually look any different from the um, Pro 2 power adapter, except for this new connector, which is rumored actually serves as a data connection as well. So that will be interesting to see what comes out. Um, okay, so we have the machine here and the pen, which has fallen out of its receptacle just because of my foolishness in uh, opening this upside down. Um, there is seemingly nothing else in this box. Um, okay. Here we have the surface and it is a, just a rectangle. Now, just holding it in your hands. I mean, this is no MacBook Air and weight. This is 800 grams. So I'm sorry, not MacBook Air. It's not iPad Air and weight. It's, it is heavier. It is a lot lighter than a MacBook Air, uh, just to have in one hand. And again, that's kind of the reason why I'd like to try using this uh, just as a tablet by itself. So let's open up the uh, wrapping. And these, all I can say is the build quality on the Surface Pro devices has always been amazing. And this is just, no exception. It just feels so nice in the hand. Um, the, the the powder finish on the magnesium. Oh, I'm just breaking up, you know. Um, but this is a beautiful device. So we can see here all the ports, um, the, the mini display port, the USB 3 port. This is, I believe, the speaker. Uh, we have the camera and two microphones, I believe. There's a, an array microphone on this device. And then on this side, we have the volume controls and the headphone uh, jack. And then now we can see this new kickstand. So again, there is a one normal angle, and then there is the friction hinge, which lets you push it all the way out to here. Uh, we look in here. 
again, how nice does this thing look? Gosh, um, here's the micro SD port, Surface 64 gigabyte, uh, and then we have a bunch of technical uh, information here about various uh, country kind of requirements. That's the magnetic latch for the cover. And this is the device. That is really sweet. Now let's see if there's enough battery uh, power just to turn on. There we go. It does turn on. I don't know if you can see that. It's a bit dim, but it does turn on. Okay, this is going to be really exciting. I will uh, be playing around with this in the next few days, and I'll post up any first impressions in the description of this video. Uh, I'm definitely excited. I've been waiting quite a long time for this because uh, it did launch in the United States before it launched in Australia. But uh, slow and steady wins the race. Anyway, uh, you can talk to me on Facebook at facebook.com slash thing or on Twitter at thing. Thanks to all my regular subscribers and, uh, you know, happy surfacing. <laughs>